Jared Poland, Fro knows photo, and we're back with a photo from Flickr. So that makes it the Flickr photo of the week, and it was taken by Peter, who is living in Northern Ireland uh, by way of Poland originally. Peter, how are you? Well, I'm fine. Not too bad. Yourself? I'm I'm hanging in there. Just picked up the t-shirts and really happy with them. Yeah, uh, good man. Good man. So. This picture that everybody's looking at right now, when I first saw it, it really stood out at me. I wanted to know more. I was, you know, you know I hate HDR, and this isn't HDR, which is great. I wanted to know more about how you created this. So do you want to tell everybody how you did this? Yeah, that's not a problem. Okay, so generally it is not HDR, as you mentioned it. Um, It's just a normal, simple, straight photo from um it just came up from the camera like this basically um what i've done is just found the found the place set up the camera okay and just to take a picture so how, amazingly it just came up like this well okay, how long of an exposure well that's ex- this one uh was like 410 seconds i think so it's around Six, about well, nearly seven minutes. Right, so you're definitely on a tripod, and oh no, you're definitely mm-hmm. on the tripod. You are definitely like you know jumping on the camera to cover from the wind, to have as less you know shaking or vibration as as as, as you can get mm-hmm. um, from the day. And this, well, it's uh, you know my country is is, is well known uh, from the wind, and especially this lake, so. Most of the time, there's like a huge waves and, and, and it's pretty strong winds. So you need, you know, you you well, you have to be you have to be aware of that. So, well, I set my camera my camera very low, and put some weight on it as well. Right, because just, just to cover, you know, cover the hold, hold the camera from them from it, the screen. And a lot of uh, tripods have a center portion that has a hook on it because you can hang uh, something there to keep it more stable. Yes. I love that. So, I have that. let's talk about the color, because the color is really awesome. You used filters, correct? Yes, but then, um, it's it's not a color filter, okay? So, basically, this is a, this is a, a filter uh, which reduces the light um, for about 10 stops. Reduces and, the light by 10 stops. Yes, reduces the light by 10 stops. Then you can... I think, uh, if I recall correctly, I think that I used um, um, the cooking ones as well, like ND8, the really, really dark one. You're using neutral density filters. Yes, neutral density, yes, yes. Just one, just the ND8. Mm-hmm. And, okay. and, uh, um, and the graduated as well. Right. And, and this, is ex- this is exactly the color that you got out of the camera, correct? E- yes, that's right. It's because of the... Um, it will not... Well, if you're doing the um, long exposure with this, with this particular filter, it's a B and B 1000X, which will reduce the the, the light by 10 stops. Um, basically, if you're doing long exposure for like a three, four minutes, it will change the color saturation. Um, if you change the white balance in your camera, okay, it's not. It, it, this is not the automatic uh, white balance. Sure. I just set the white balance by myself, and um, Basically, if I will, well, if I will go for 30 seconds or one minute, the color will be different as well. And right. also, it's it's very important to have um, the light, the light from well from the sun, from your right side, and it must be high. So, let's say this this picture was taken about around between 11 and 12 o'clock, I think. So the sun was very high. You sure. know what I mean? Yes. Okay. And. Uh, um, at this day, the leg was really, really calm, so that's why you have this really, like, like a mirror surface on it, okay? And then, so I set, my, my, set up my camera, set up my white balance. I've done a couple of shots before, before this one, you know, just to, just to make sure that uh, everything is straight and nice. And um, the picture just came up like this. Well, that's great. So it, it, I need to stay from the camera. Yeah, it's 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 just yeah. really unique. It's not something that you see because a lot of people aren't taking the extra time to to try this out these days. They want to take fourteen pictures at different exposures and then spend the whole day 
in the computer trying to futz with it instead of, you know, getting it right traditionally, uh, traditionally, uh, I don't know if I want to say that, but getting it right or capturing it in the camera this way, um, not saying that, you know, everything needs to be captured perfectly in the camera. I'm just against totally reworking a photo after the fact in Photoshop when you could have easily gotten it right in the camera. Yes, well, I agree with you definitely. I'm, I'm not using Photoshop, just to let you know, and I'm just using just, just Lightroom mm -hmm. and a little bit of a, little bit of a Paint Shop Pro um, X12. So this is not this is not any tricks or something. It just it just the image is just cropped, and I just put a little bit of vignetting around the around the corners, as you see. Yeah. And just that's basically what I've done, and it's just a little bit what, what I've done. Um, it's just a, just a little bit of clarity. Right, which is fine. Yeah, that that stuff's fine. And you said that it's cropped, and I know I questioned. <coughs> excuse me, I asked that before, and the reason that it was cropped is because neutral density filters uh, are generally square, and if you have a certain holder, it may block part of the image, which means you don't want the holder in the photo, thus allowing you the ability to uh, or needing to crop it out so that yeah. you can uh, be left with this image. So, in, in, you know, in that case, that's okay. You have my blessing on the crop there. Thank you very much. Yeah, well, when I'm, when I'm using um, different lenses like 18 to 70 Niger or uh, whatever lenses above, the, I think above the 16 will be, will, will, do, will be fine. But then sometimes you just, you know, you wish to capture the, the most of this thing and you want to keep, well, I'm using the Turkina, so uh, 12 to 24. And I really want to have this this lens, uh, you know, just just zoom completely on a twelve, just keep it on a twelve. So then, basically, I'm cropping the image, and that's the. It's not every time, but it's just this particular photo. It was just was cropped anyway. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then you, you have to be also aware that uh, some data or deals might be lost during the long exposure photography, as this is a long exposure. So you know the the some. Some things like the trees in the background are moving, so it might, you know, it might just give you a little bit dizzy feeling. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, there, there's a lot of work that goes into taking a picture just, you know, long exposure things. Like you just said, the trees moving could ruin your photos, and, and here the clouds moving look nice, and the water is nice and, and nice and nice. I don't know what other word to put there, but... Uh, you know, it's just a, a really stunning image to know that it's mostly done in the camera with a few minor tweaks after in Lightroom, which is normal because every file needs to be tweaked, especially the raw files all have to be worked after the fact. Um, that's what makes it good. So, Peter, any uh, any last words? Well, any last words? Yes, I, I want you to say, uh, I, I would like to agree with you, definitely, and just uh, wanted to tell all the guys that it's always better to... Uh, you know, trying to get your image um, straight from the camera, or just set up your camera right, not to use your, you know, a different techniques to just, you know, fake your photo. It's always better to have a natural photo came up, and it always be appreciated much more, I think. So that's that's basically it. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Peter. I would thank you very much for this image, and and that's you know, that's true. Get it as right as possible in the camera. If you find yourself saying, "Oh, I'll just fix it later in Photoshop." Don't, because you're creating an extra step for yourself. Just try to get it right. Uh, you know, if, if there's something in it, reframe the image instead of cropping later. All things that I'm going to talk about further on the page. But I wanted to bring this picture to you. Keep putting your pictures up in the Flickr photo group, uh, Frono's photo on Flickr, and uh, you never know, I could uh, be calling you for an interview. So, Peter, thank you again. And Thank you very much, Ken. You're welcome. And this has been Jared Polin, froknowsphoto.com. Talk to you later. See ya.